Alright folks, how's it going? Welcome back to another session of Biotech. Now, I have been told something very, very important. There is no time limit to this campaign. Like, for those who've seen my XCOM 2 playthrough, you'd know there's a little, um, a little time limit to the Avatar project, which is like a couple of blips up here. Basically, if that gets full, that's automatic game over. So, there's no time limit. Basically, we can progress this campaign how quickly and how slowly to our needs, which is absolutely brilliant. Now, there is a game over, unfortunately. That is when the bank becomes zero and we can't pay for the next monthly report. So, that was my original thought, and it kind of makes sense. You know, no money. That means no electricity, no water, no new tools for Yang, no new coffee for Summary, and no new additions to Deffy, Secret, Paw, Stash, I, I, I mean, Stash of Luxury Artwork. <laughs> so, yeah, that's really, really cool to know. So, it just means we just gotta keep banging contracts left, right, and center and get our money up. So, I mean, as you can see up here, we're paying for 300,000 a month. I mean, even says that, should your funds have it zero, your company will fall entirely in CFAR operations. Makes sense. So, that's really, really cool. So, now the question is, how we're going to progress in this campaign going forward, because... So, the one thing I noticed is, I've been re-watching the old footage. And it seems to be, with every priority mission... You do a couple of missions, and then a couple of contracts, and then boom, you got your priority contract to do. So, the question is how do we progress? And a couple of things came to mind, I think I understand the meta of this game now. We need to upgrade our mech warriors to the highest potential they can achieve. And at the same time, we need to upgrade the mechs. Now, so far I've been kind of thinking about doing one mech per mech, mech warrior, pardon. So it's kind of like that stereotypical thing. Like, uh, for example, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's an old anime called uh, the Gundam series. You know, like Gundam Wing, Gundam Zero, Gundam Double O. And basically every uh, every pilot has like their own like specific mech. And that's what I was trying to go for. So... I was kind of thinking, right, okay, so what, do we have to upgrade to the heavy category? And then potentially upgrade to the assault category? Or do you think we'll get by with just the light mechs and the medium mechs? And there you are. But also, um, I had a bit of advice from the Grouch. saying Because I said um, I was going to do two mechs per character. I thought maybe that might be pretty cool, you know what I mean? But he said that'd be advised against because you'll be running out of money left, right and centre. So, I was kind of thinking, right, well, I'll tell you what, we could go back to the original one person per mech. And then, that will gradually up the cost, but at a slower rate, if that's the case. Also, another boo-boo, when it comes to the Argo upgrades, I have went for the mech bay upgrades, where he was recommending to go for the, um, the tech upgrades to reduce the cost and time for mech repairs. So, uh, my thought process was to get the mech bay upgraded so we had more options because uh, in terms of these kind of games where you have the three sectors of a campaign, you have military, economy and science, um, I sort of rely more on towards the military side. So my thought process for Battletech for this concept was to focus on the mechs more than the actual upgrades. So. That's what I was sort of thinking, do you know what I mean? But at the same time, you got to look at Baltic as a whole, up to now. It's a perfect balance of all three, because you need your science to get your tech up, for your repairs and your costs, like, like the Grouch mentioned. Also, the economy in terms of your funds up here, so you don't run out, have plenty of money. And military, to make sure your mech's up and running at all times, and all three of them work in cohesion very well. So there's that, and also uh, Doc Dots and Ice Cream also pointed out that um, in the last, uh, I can't remember where it was. It was the last um, 
what would it call it? Uh, little morale choices. Um, I'm gonna have to pay close attention to them from now on because the last one was like a mech bay confrontation where Yang was saying all oh, the mech pilots are around the bay and blah blah blah. I chose a choice which I thought was pretty neutral, but it actually had a little bit of an effect because what happened was two of our mechs actually had extra days to their repair because of it. Now, that particular situation would seem very minor, but in the great in the grand scheme of things, those couple of days could be the most crucial point in a certain situation. Or any certain situation, pardon. So that's something I'm gonna to have to think about. Also, another thing as well before we carry on, um I'm going to finally come up with a plan on how I'm going to sort out the max now. Because over the last couple sessions, I have been torn between customizing the mechs for specific roles versus leaving them stock. So what I'm going to do is, at the end of this session, I will be inserting a clip explaining how I'm going to change each mech up. And over the last um, week or so, between recording sessions, because the last time I recorded this particular session is the 31st of December now. The last time I recorded was about the 25th, I think it was, 26th, I can't quite remember. So, between those days I've been thinking about how I should apply with each mech, I think I finally have a blueprint, so I'm going to explain my choices, explain what's going on at the end of the session, and I'll insert that in before I upload the final part of the session, or the second half of the session, pardon, with that included, so... Should be fun days. Right, so anyway, back to this. So, um, also, I noticed a big jump in views recently regarding this series. Can I just say a big, big thank you very much. I did not think this series would have gotten the attention it's gotten. I absolutely love this game, so I just want to say a big personal thank you. And if you are a returning viewer, I would highly, highly recommend subscribing. Just for your convenience, really. Just so every time I upload a new video, boom, stay in your sub box. But alternatively, there is a Discord, um, uh, Discord link down below. Um, I do have an automatic uploader bot that tells you when I upload new videos. But if you don't want to subscribe, that's fine, you know. But I do upload these videos every two days. I don't know if you've noticed. No, yeah, every two, every two days. Yeah, every two days. If you don't know the schedule up tonight for this. So anyway, we're just going to carry on. So we're going to go to contracts, and I said we're going to do the hold the line mission, which is a, uh, a base defense. One skull, which is particularly fine, but we're just going to try and uh, just try and build up our money a little bit now. So I was kind of thinking. I mean, right now, we haven't got priority contracts available yet. We've just got to keep doing these side contracts until the new one appears. So, we might as well just do one. And out of all of them, this seems to be the easiest. I know we got aggressive intuition, but that's just an normal battle. But I was thinking, maybe something a bit more easier, I think, would probably be more, would be more welcomed. Hostile compelling forces have been making increasingly bold incursions towards one of our processing facilities on Lyrton. This facility represents a substantial cash investment for the locals, and its destruction would be both politically and financially disastrous. We need a capable mercenary company to defend the site. Payment will be remitted upon the repulsion of all hostile Capellan units. The local government facility must be running on incredibly narrow margins if they can't afford to protect it themselves. Anyway, Commander, this should be very straightforward, and it will be. Okay, so... Looking at our money right now, sure, we're, we're gonna lose a bit of, uh, we're gonna lose a bit of reputation with the Capellan Confederation, but to be extremely honest, right now, the reputation doesn't mean diddly jack. Of course, later on, it might be, because if we have to travel to one of their systems, there's penalties such as we won't be able to get access to the shop, we won't be able to get a good discounts, in fact, the prices might actually be more expensive than it would be in another system but it's all about balancing that. So I think for this we're going to go for more money than salvage I think. It's because I wouldn't mind bumping us over to a grand again. Uh, a million, sorry not a grand. <laughs> I think we're a bit more over than a grand. Alright, let's, uh, let's just set up them. Okay, so as a base defense, let's just get rid of everyone. 
we'll start the uh, the lance off clean, at least. Okay, so we've not had glitch in a while, so let's get glitch. We've not had behemoth in a while, so let's get behemoth. Um, let's bring out. Let's bring out Deffy. And I think. Actually, do you know what? I kind of think we're going to go for medium mech, I think, this time. Because I want to give the trebuchet another shot. Because this is another thing. I think I played the trebuchet very wrong in the last session. He's more of a missile boat. The trebuchet is more of a missile boat, and it's more for longer ranges. So, I think I'm going to give that a shot. We'll try it. We'll try it again. Alright, Trebuchet will go to Ashwang. I do remember it's an LR10 I gave him. Not an LR15. It's a long range missile 10 that I gave him. Not a long range missile 15. But it's fine. Okay, so Blackjack and finally the Vindicator. Not the Vindicator in a long time, we'll be honest. Right, okay, I think we're good. Alright, let's deploy them. Okay, so we'll see how this goes. So yeah, um, by the time this video comes out, this particular part, it'll be 2021, so I just want to wish everyone a Happy New Year. And that's the, uh, yeah, that's the crap here over and done with now, so we've got new horizons and new things to look forward to. Yeah. So uh, I'm actually planning on doing a, a video soon. I'm actually planning on doing a um, a taking suggestions video because after if after one of these playthroughs finished, um, the Rome Total War, Battletech, or XCOM 2 Season 2, um, I pretty much have no idea what to do next. So uh, yeah, so I'll do that video when it comes out. Command. And basically, I'm just asking for suggestions for playthroughs in the future, if you're interested, that is. Alright, Commander, we've been tasked with defending this installation. We have scattered reports of incoming hostiles from multiple directions. They'll be targeting the structures, intercepting them before they can bring any down. Good luck. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's have a look. Alright, so we have to hold up for 10 rounds. We have to defend the base from compelling attacks. Three must survive, six remaining. It's your all buildings survive, destroy the enemy vanguard. Okay, so do we have any... No, it doesn't look like we have any turrets. Okay, so it seems like the majority of the forces are going to come from the north. So we just got to keep a perimeter. So, okay, so we've got Blackjack here. Let's get Blackjack into the forest. We'll get Shadowhawk up front. Because the Shadowhawk's more of our... Up front anyway. Vindicator, we're going to keep to the... Hmm. Oh, that's actually the class's forest area. I read you, Commander. Moving out. All right, Trebuchet. Um, we'll keep you the back here. Yes, Commander. Okay. Enemy turn. Time to earn. Enemy contacts. What? Oh, hello. Okay, so we got him back. It's a Locust 1E. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, that's a lot of, um... That's a lot of thingy. Oh, it's moving again. Okay, that's fine. Let's let it get closer, at least. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Glitch. Good to um, go. Sensor lock. We need to start using sensor lock a lot more often. But the question is, though, so can we do sensor lock and do an attack? Well, we're about to test this. Let's have a look. So sensor lock comes off for two. Ah, okay. So sensor. Right, okay. I I see how sensor lock works now. Right, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, cool. All right, definitely. Um, there's nothing you can see, but we can move you up a bit more just to try and get eyes on that vehicle. Uh, actually, can you take a shot from me? No, you can't. No, you can't. Okay, race. Okay. I don't think... Okay. 
Let's go check to see if anyone comes from this way. No, there isn't. Okay, Amanda. behemoth. Um. Hmm. If you were to shoot from your location. Yeah, it's just a thought. Um. Yeah, let's just go in for a melee. Uh, I missed, of course I did. Of course I missed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, that's fine. Reporting. Uh, let's see here, so we can move you up. Okay, you do have jump jets, you got your foot in, okay. Uh, we got two 80s with the long range missiles and the let's do it. Ho, 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 ho. That vehicle is dead. Oh, yeah. I think we're gonna have to rely a lot more on the missiles now, because oh god, it's going nasty. Okay, bit of damage. So yeah, I was rewatching the um, the prison break. Oh, where's the locust going? Locust will probably be sprinting. So as I was saying. Um, I was re-watching the footage of the the prison break and I was seeing how the AI was using the um, I was seeing how the AI was actually using the trebuchet and they were lying a lot more on the missiles so so I think that's how I need to start using the trebuchet if I am going to be using it So, yeah, that was the reason why the Centurion and the Shadowheart got absolutely eviscerated, was because of the, uh, the Trebuchet's uh, long-range missiles, so that was like another reason why I went for the Trebuchet as well. Just the missile is absolutely crazy, I'm telling you. Okay, so, unnamed vehicle, no vehicle, um, shots don't look any good. Um, hmm. Should I just focus fire on the locust now, or should I just move? Um, we'll move. There we go, that's a bit better. Yeah, we'll move the Shadowhawk on the right flank, and we'll try and get eyes on one of those uh, drones, if possible. Uh, yeah, I'll do. Here it comes. Okay, good. Another one down. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Okay, glitch. What can I do for you? Uh don't know what your target was. 40, 30, 30. Um Oh no no no, it's not what I want. Waiting for orders! Alright, we'll get you in a little closer so you can uh, rain fire on the, uh, the locust. It is just light mechs and drones we are dealing with right now, but best to focus fire over the Okay. Yeah. Nothing much, but. What's the plan? Could I go, huh? Okay. Okay. Uh, 25. No. Oh, I didn't even do that. Shit. Ah, oh, a right click to their left. Shit. Your way. See, that's me playing it. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're gonna have to reroute some of the mechs down this way now. Um, yeah. That's me bloody playing XCOM the other day. Because in that game... Um... Right click is to move your units. Where left is to cancel. So, I was trying to... Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, um, Deffy, we might have to move you back, I think. We still have... No, I'll tell you what. No, Deffy and Shadowhawk can deal with the Vindicator. And, sorry. 
Shadowhawk and the Blackjack can deal with the Drone and the Locust. Getting a little closer. And then we can reroute. All weapons committed. And we can reroute Glitch and Ashwine to go after the reinforcement group coming from the southwest, southeast part. It's not doing it. I was doing a skirmish mode yesterday and there was a little thing where if you actually clicked on it, it actually moved to the location where it was best to shoot from. I don't know why it's doing it. Why it's not doing it. Oh well. Um Focus on the mech. Uh, sorry, focus on the drone. And then what we can do is we can sprint back next turn. Yeah, that's good. Enough. Him everything Easy enough. Vehicle okay, glitch. We need to start rerouting you now. Uh, yeah, just sprint up. I'm trying to keep it same. Although, you can get eyes on. Where was it? Here? I would like you to be in the forest, personally. Actually, no, I'll do that. You'll be in the forest and you'll have. Consider it done. Whoa, where are you going? I wanted you to go the other way. <sighs> really? You had to Michael Jackson your ass up there? Idiot. Alright, so we got Locust 1S, which is uh, two short ray missiles and a medium laser and the 1E. Uh, well, oh, actually, two. Can use the car. precision strike. The precision strike. <laughs> okay, so we can boost it up to 50. Then, okay, what's the most. This doesn't really make much of a difference, does it? Let's go for the one here, I guess. And we'll call the. Hmm. Senate Torso. Fuck it. Go ahead. Okay, that wasn't a bad salvo. Well, for my standards, at least. <laughs> okay, so got a lock on. Ah, sensor lock, okay. I wonder what the range of sensor lock is. Okay, so there's a bit of fire in the building, at least. Hmm. Okay. That locus is moving. Yeah, probably going after the uh, the building line. <laughs> it's Uber Anakin. I have the high ground. <laughs> I need to watch that film again. I've not seen any of the Star Wars films in absolutely years. Yeah, more fire in the buildings. Okay, here we go. Right, death it. Um. Give it to me from that location. Oh, no, we can just take the two, we can move over across this way, and we can get a line of sight that way. Start bringing back Defian be here now. Shoot some fire. Okay, it's gone knocked down, good. Okay. Enemy turn. Alright, so that guy's moving up. Okay, bit of fire. Okay, behemoth. Waiting for uh, more. Well, actually, you'll have indirect fire from that location. Oh, okay, so it might actually be worth just moving you then. Got it. 
I'll tell you, I will be honest, I do like the Shadowhawk. It does have coverage from every single range, which I think is absolutely beautiful. So, I actually don't know if I want to change this loadout at all. Well, I'll think about it anyway. Um, do I want to do... Mm, Mm. Actually, no, I don't want to. Let's just open fire on the locust. Well, the one that's already damaged. Okay, a hit. That's not too bad. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, can we get you to the forest? Yes, here. From this location. Moving out. And then I think go on multi-target here. So, A and B, and I think what we'll do is we'll go long range missiles for B, I think. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. That's gonna you be good. Get a and you, get a <laughs> you get it. <laughs> I like that. Okay, I think that was a good use of multi target, I think. Yes, Waterfall. Okay, let's, uh, what's your. Shots from your location, actually. Um, 60 across the board. Yeah, this is a really good position. Um, it's mal. Let's just deal with the guy in front of us, I guess. I'm loading a full salvo. Nice. Yeah, this is going a lot, lot better than last time. Well, I mean, we have got the heavy artillery at least. <laughs> Okay, so, so far, things are going pretty well. Like I said, I don't know if this is the extent of their advancement force. I don't know if they've got other pockets of resistance in the back lane to know. Yeah, I mean, it is a, a once gold mission, actually, so that's uh, to be expected, at least. Okay, Death, can you just go in for a melee? Can you? Not really, but... Uh, fuck it. Just don't fire. All yeah, just finish them all. Enemy mech destroyed. There you go. Well done. Okay, behemoth. Uh, just keep moving up if you can, just to indirect fire. On my way. Like I said, any damage I can do for that turn would be brilliant. I think, did I say that? I don't forget that. <laughs> Still. Alright, it's a 60 for the striker. Let's go. Up and over. Hmm, nice. Okay, glitch. I hear ya. Uh, you're okay in the forest, but wouldn't mind getting maybe one evasive charge? That'll do. On my way. We might actually be able to do another multi tiger I think, actually. Yeah, I think we can. Let's see here. Uh, we can actually. Cool. Right, well, I'll tell you what, we'll go... We'll definitely go and be for the... Oh, you can... Really? You can all... Oh, we haven't got... There we go. Okay, yep, perfect. Um, You can only target A. You can target A and B. But I think we'll go like this, I think. I think that might be best. Yep, go for it. Uh huh. Bit of damage, but... It should be good. And then we can have the main armaments going on. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, it's good to have the Vindicator and the PPC back. I ain't gonna lie. Finally, Ash Frank. Uh, yeah, just go for it. Okay, cool. He is overheating now. So, we will have to watch that. Because it's in the description, trebuchets can overheat quite quickly, and I can see that to be true. Now. Okay, so we just need to hold out for five more rounds. So I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll sprint you up. Yeah, to that location. Full 
get you back in the fight if possible. Do you know, to say what what is my favourite mech up to now, Orders. I haven't a bloody clue. I've been impressed with every single mech up to now that I've used. Although, I think I am leaning towards the Vindicator a little bit. <laughs> Glitch has been absolutely awesome with uh, long range fire and that PC as well. Second would probably be the, uh, I don't know, I would say the Locust. I know it's quite weird because it's the worst of the bunch what in the game, but just with Medusa's, you know, being, with Medusa being like a hit and run specialist, it's been quite fun. <laughs> sort of just running between the different, um, between the different mechs and stuff, although he's had a few close calls. Is that the only one I could target? I thought I could target the other one. Oh, if that's the case then. You have orders? Oh, there we go. Oh, we don't have the angle for it. Okay. Um, I think we could just move the angle this way, I think. Yes, we can. There we go. That was another thing I learned as well. Perfect. Okay. Can the S laser be used? Not really. Right, well, I'll tell you what then. Uh, we'll put the medium laser on A. We'll put the other two on the striker. Oh no, that was wrong. <laughs> Got it mixed up. Oh well. It's fine. Yeah, critical hit. Hey, Hashwang. Are you still yes, over yeah you are. Uh well if that's the case then, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use um Well, we might as well use it, we'll just use vigilance. Oh of course it's one turn and it and then we'll just brace. Bracing for impact. Just Cooling down the uh, the heat meter a little bit. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Sorry, it's just armor damage. Okay, Ashwang, how is your. Reporting. Yeah, right down again. Awesome. Okay. Uh. Yeah, just go all out. No doubt it will be done. There we go. No one died. Reporting. Do, do, do. Another one buys the dust. Do, do, do. Another one buys the dust. And another one buys and another one buys and another one buys the dust. Do, 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 do. Another one buys the dust. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, that was bad. <laughs> hope I didn't scare anyone off. I hope I didn't scare anyone off with my singing. I can just imagine just people just putting the mouse slowly up to the back button up there. That's the main page of YouTube. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. Okay, Daffy, are you in a location yet? No, you are not. Oh, he's over there now, crafty bastard. Okay, well, uh... You should just no way you can... Uh, you could... Oh, fuck, the jump mechanic for a second. I thought we had jump jets. No, we aren't. Okay, just move up here then. Move you up back to the fray. Okay, behemoth. Behemoth, 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 behemoth. Ready for orders. Okay, move here. Moving I think position. this might be the only guy left, I think. Possibly. Uh, precision shot? Yeah, I want to use precision shot. Uh, we'll go for the arm, I guess. Copy that. There we go. There we go. Looks like we're going to be getting a lot of locust parts at the end of this. Glitch. I think you might be in range for. Yep, you're in range for a melee. On my way. Come on, stamp on the fucker and let's get this done. There we go. <laughs> Just for good measure. <laughs> There we go. Well done. You managed to wipe up the op four out. I could do an extraction right now. No need to be too. Yeah. No need to get to our planned LZ. Alright, cool. Successful. Successful.